Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am making a chemise for the costume that I ended up making for the Foundations Revealed competition. And this is part of the under layer and construction. I made this last year and I used a combination of the machine and hand sewing to get it done. I don't have time to hand sew the whole thing. I didn't really want to do an intro for this one. I wanted to dive right in. There was a lot of footage for this that I scrunched down for this. So right here what I'm doing is just sewing the side gores to the front and the back panels. I most of the hand sewing that I did for this project was felling the seams down after I sewed them together. <clears throat> and so, I mean, theoretically, I would have loved to have done the whole thing by hand, but I just didn't have time uh, with five children and a husband. <laughs> so here are the cuffs for the sleeves. I wanted to add lace where I could. I love lace and I love adding it. So right here, I'm just sewing the lace down. These are gonna get folded over and ironed down and then, like I said, used as the cuffs. Now, I did end up changing this pattern a lot after it was completely, dis <laughs> completely constructed, <laughs> not destructed. Um, that's what I felt like I was doing to it. Anyway, um, it did not work for the ball gown that I made it to go under. This is my first delve into historical costuming for an adult and any attempt at historical accuracy. And so I wasn't 100% sure what I was doing. For this particular chemise, I was following Simplicity Pattern 1139, which you have probably seen if you're in the costuming community. It's got the chemise, the drawers, and the corset, roughly Civil War area, era time period, I believe. And um, I didn't have anything else that I was going off of. Um, I'm still learning all of this and as of the actual making of this video I have learned a lot more and have actually made another one that I used a completely different pattern in the costume close-up book but this was my first and I was just following the pattern I will say that um, it felt like I was using a lot of linen for this and it really really was I ended up one of the changes I made was I removed a lot of the excess linen from it for the project but I'm not going to be showing the changes I made to it in this video that will be later um, when I make the video for the dress that I made for the um, competition that's the word I'm looking for so again uh, here's where I did the hand sewing just felt this down so I know I skip here in a little bit but I ended up going through and pinning all of these felled seams down before I hand sew them down that just ended up being easier for me if I were to do this again and I believe actually in the other shift that I made I think it was a shift more of a chemise in the other one that I made but anyway I think I have a lot narrower of a felled seam this is just the first time I'd ever done that so it's kind of wide but I'm totally fine with it
I do want to say that I have previously made myself the leather thimble that you see on my finger and I highly recommend. It is so comfortable. Um, it has stretched a little and I've made myself a second one, but it is worth it. They are the most comfortable. I love them. I love them better than any of the hard ones, although I do use the hard ones too if I need to. There are certain instances where the hard one works better, but thimbles are great. That is my two cents. So here I'm starting the sleeves and I'm just sewing the sleeve gussets to the sleeves and then like with the gores I'm gonna stop in a minute and fell the seams down. I did have to do one seam, fell it, and then sew. No. Check that. I did sew both seams. And then um, I had to fill one and then filled another one down the long ways that crossed over the first one that I had filled. I think I'd do a close up of it later, but it was basically two seams coming together in a V under the sleeve, and um, it took some finagling to figure that out, but I got it. Here I'm sewing together the cuffs for the sleeves and then I'm going to just gather that end of the sleeve and pin it to the cuff and fold it over and hand sew it down. And then I added lace trim, which you'll see at the end. Still working on getting that cuff on but I do want to jump in again and say um, I do apologize for all the verbal stumbles and the uh, mind blanks um, unfortunately even though we were following all the precautions that the CDC recommended my husband and I both did get um, the virus that I shall not name and um, we both seem to get mild cases, but my symptoms have been lingering and um, I'm actually just happy to get this video out because I really wanted to, but I've really been struggling and haven't been able to so much in the last little bit because of uh, muscle pain. And one of the things that seems to be lingering other than exhaustion is the inability to get my thoughts together. So I've been struggling with that and blinking on a lot of things. 
Um, so again, I'm just really happy to get this video out uh, between trying to take care of my kids and recover. It's been an interesting month. All right, now we are just sewing the front and the back together. You can see that little flap up there on the left. Um, that isn't the sleeve gusset. That is an additional little triangle that the pattern had. And um, it, I think, helped the pieces all lay together around the sleeve a little, the top of the sleeve because of the swooped neckline. I'm pretty sure that was what their purpose was for, um, but they're just little tiny pieces. So after I got the front and back put together, again, I stopped and hand filled the seams before I put the sleeves in. And I wanna say here, this is actually the first time that I have worked with linen and while it was everywhere and it frayed worse than any fabric I have ever used, I believe, <laughs> other than I think one really cheap satiny polyester I used one year when I was making a Christmas tree skirt. Um, it was probably the most fun I've had with fabric. This really is the first like actual natural fiber other than like quilting cotton that I've really ever worked with and I it was a lot of fun plus it is so comfortable and then here is the start of the collar uh, or I guess the neckline I guess it's a collar and uh, so I had these pieces were the um, the actual collar piece and then the back piece of it so I sewed the side seams together and ironed them out and then here the same lace that I put on the cuffs I wanted on the neckline collar as well so just pinning that in because it was curved I did have to notch the lace a little bit but I know it's not gonna fray and I tacked it down where I needed to and then just put the front, the right sides together for these, sewed it around the top edge, clipped seams, corners, did all of that, ironed it, the seam out flat, and then turned it right side out and ironed it flat to prepare it for sewing it to the rest of the chemise. all the gathering so much gathering this was a lot of linen like I said in my edited version I removed quite a bit I think I removed almost half of the volume um, when I changed this for the contest um, 
I thought when I was making the pattern in the first place that it was a lot of fabric and that I might not need that much, but it was the first one I've ever done and I was just following the pattern. So I went with it and I wish I'd just gone with my gut and removed the fabric when I was making it. But yes, lots of gathering. So I got that pinned down, flipped it over and there it is. Um, I hand sewed the, in, the, the collar down on the inside as well and then I put a hook and bar right in the middle there in the front so that I could adjust it for whether I wanted it coming off of my shoulder or up on the shoulder. I think it is supposed to go off the shoulder according to the pattern but it didn't go down far enough so I ended up having to move that but it is pretty. Oh and I didn't show it but it had these uh, armhole reinforcers that probably wouldn't be needed because this is a costume and I'm not going to be wearing it that much but I did add them but it was all there and I didn't video it and I did shorten it so me trying it on here there's so much volume I got a cord and tied it around the waist to because I hadn't made the corset yet which that I knew would go over it and I wanted to see what it would look like actually cinched up around the top of me not um basically looking like I was in a sack <laughs> there's a lot of fabric but I am really pleased it's really comfortable and it was really pretty um I kind of wish I didn't have to change it for the project so it doesn't look like this now um but I did wear it a few times like that before I changed it because it was just so comfortable so Thanks for joining me. This was a lot of fun. I'll see you in the next one.